cybercrime, also called computer crime, is the use of computer as an instrument to further illegal ends such as committing fraud, trafficking in child pornography and intellectual property, stealing identities, or violating privacy. Cybercrime has grown in importance as the computer has become central to commerce, entertainment, and government. What distinguishes cybercrime from traditional criminal activity is the use of the digital computer. It represents an extension of existing criminal behavior alongside some new illegal activities. Most cybercrime is an attack on information about individuals, corporations, or governments. Although the attacks do not take place on a physical body, they do take place on the personal or corporate virtual body, which is the set of informational attributes that define people and institutions on the internet. At this point, let's talk about the Republic Act No. 10175, or the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012. This act was signed into law by President Benigno Aquino on September 12, 2012. Its original goal was to penalize acts like cyber sex, child pornography, identity theft, and unsolicited electronic communication in the country. It aims to address legal issues concerning online interactions and the internet in the Philippines. Among the cybercrime offenses included in the bill are cyber squatting, cyber sex, child pornography, identity theft, illegal access to data, and libel. Cyber squatting is registering trafficking in or using an internet domain name with bad faith intent to profit from the goodwill of a trademark belonging to someone else. Cyber sex, also called computer sex, is a virtual sex encounter in which two or more people connected remotely via computer network send each other sexually explicit messages describing a sexual experience. Child pornography is pornography that exploits children for sexual stimulation. It may be produced with the direct involvement or sexual assault of a child, or it may be simulated child pornography. Abuse of the child occurs during the sexual acts or lascivious exhibitions of genitals or pubic areas which are recorded in the production of child pornography. Identity theft is the deliberate use of someone else's identity, usually as a method to gain a financial advantage or obtain credit and other benefits in the other person's name, and perhaps to the other person's disadvantage or loss. While held for penalizing illegal acts done via the internet that were not covered by old laws, the act has been criticized for its provision on criminalizing libel, which is perceived to be a curtailment in freedom of expression.